Our theme for this virtual edition is Building Africa's Resilience through education, research and innovation. If 2020 has taught us anything, it is that the ones who thrive are those who are ready for change. And the force of change comes in various forms, creating, modeling, testing, experimenting, trying until we find something that works by Africa and for Africa. For instance, you know, the discovery I made for the Nobel Prize some, oh, 1977, long time ago now, um, only about three years ago was there a practical application of this in medicine. It's been applied by actually an ex-postdoc of mine um, to spinal muscular atrophy. I, I also think it's very important for scientists to learn to speak to the public in language they can understand. I have something I call the grandmother test, which I always give to students and postdocs who work with me. And I say, go and talk to your grandmother and tell her what it is you do in the lab every day and convince her that you are a wonderful scientist. For a long time, women have been more, you know, socialized towards, um, you know, sectors like, you know, hospitality, care, you know, sort of a, a few of the lower paying sectors. And these have been A, the hardest hit, they are less flexible, so it's much more difficult for you to work from home. So they're going out to do the care work and the nursing and they're getting much more exposed. It's all about education. It's all about uh, being in the right environment, uh, having people to support you. Uh, but even without support, it's actually possible to do something. It's possible to learn, it's possible to uh, to succeed. And what motivates you? Is it the beauty of nature or is, is it the usefulness of your work? Because the way of the revolution in surgery will not be coming from surgeons, but from computer scientists. And that is the reason we have created the IRCAD in France. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, and, uh, but uh, parents and the mathematical teacher, they always said that I should uh, go to be an engineer, which I did at the end. I am an engineer and I hated it, I must say. <laughs> I hated it because uh, after all, I was, really I realized that I was more, uh, more, more interested in trying to find the reason for what uh, things were working. And uh, so I was more and more driven to uh, theoretical physics. It's hard to have an off-the-wall idea and, and get it funded. And so you sort of have to almost do it as a sideline project until it gets some traction. Um, it doesn't stop you from talking to your colleagues and getting all the help that you might need. And, and without the funding, you can start just uh, getting the idea. We're lucky in the sense that We've invested heavily in uh, in the relationships with with our clients, so that when it comes to, to to shocks like this, we've really benefited from from intimately knowing our, our customers. Countries who have implemented correctly the evidence-based um, uh, intervention uh, with the right strategies, uh, co according their context, national context and global context, are the one who have succeeded. Meaning minimum of death, minimum of disruption. Rwanda is proud to be part of this third edition of the next HTM Forum Global Gathering, taking place online after successful hosting the second edition in March 2018 in Kigali, attracting over 1,500 delegates. The Rwandan government acted swiftly to combat the pandemic using science to protect public health. Rwanda is investing heavily in the education of its young people and it is encouraging them to pursue skilled careers in science and innovation, working to serve the public and create jobs and raise living standards. The government of Rwanda has supported Ems Rwanda to pilot the cooperative education program and this one of the component of work integrated learning as an approach to educate this integrated class-based learning with real on-job exposure.